assuming that you have about $600,000 extra cash and suitable places for takeoff and landing, this two-seater flying car called Pal V Liberty could be a lot of fun. It is based on a tried and proven concept of a gyrocopter that uses a rear-mounted vertical propeller to push it forward and a larger unpowered overhead rotor to keep it in the air. A number of similar aircraft are available, but this one has a closed cabin and three large wheels with suspension for driving on roads. Pell V's CEO Robert Dingemans says it's very safe because in case of engine failure, the overhead rotor serves as a parachute. For added safety, the gyrocopter also has two engines. So when one engine would fail, which is very unlikely because they are redundant certified aviation engines, but if it would, you still have one left. And with this engine, you can still fly very far to find a very small spot to land it. All systems have been thoroughly tested for all kinds of stresses. Pal V Liberty has a standard steering wheel and pedals, while flying controls are even simpler, a throttle control and a stick. With the stick, you operate the rotor in different directions. So left is going left, right is going right. And if you push it forward, you go faster. Conversion from a car to a gyrocopter and back is fully automated and takes only 10 minutes. Its rather thirsty engine burns about 7 liters of regular auto fuel per hour with a top flying speed of about 180 kilometers per hour and a range of about 500 kilometers on a full tank. A pilot's license is required, but the training is measured in hours rather than days. The company is already receiving down payments for the first deliveries of its flying car, expected in 2019. George Putich, VOA News.